Hi, and welcome back to the Lavender Tear Crochet Tutorials. Today we are going to learn how to create the invisible join. Now, normally when you're working in the round, you're going to finish with a slip stitch, and it leaves this weird bump looking thing. So, the invisible join is a great technique to get rid of this bump and make it look like a seamless finish. It'll look just like the regular loops that you have around your crochet project. To make the invisible join, you're going to cut your yarn, you know, about two or three inches, just so you have some working room. And you are going to pull that last loop through all the way so that working yarn comes through your stitch. Now what you're going to do is take your hook and insert it into the front loop of the last stitch you created. And then you are going to insert your hook into the full stitch that was the first stitch that you created in the beginning of your round. Now taking that tail yarn, yarn over and pull through both of those loops and the stitch I guess. And then you're going to tighten it like this and just, you know, there you go. See how it looks just like all the other stitches that you have? And then you're just going to weave in that tail end of your yarn just like you would on any other project. And there you go guys. Isn't that so much better than ending with a slip stitch?